There she is. Guess what? Daddy is going to get you dressed for school today. In Antebellum, Veronica Henley, played by Janelle Monet, is a self-assured academic and best-selling author who travels across America speaking about women's rights and racial inequality in the United States. They're stuck in the past. We are the future. A loving mother in an upper-class household, she feels secure in her world until all of a sudden she doesn't. Veronica gets kidnapped and transported to a Louisiana plantation recreated as a replica of one from the 1800s. There, along with a large number of other African Americans who have been abducted, she suffers atrocities. She's given a new name and she's forbidden to speak. Antebellum filmmaker Gerard Bush tells VOA that this horror story came to him in an actual nightmare. And it felt like this woman was screaming across dimensions for help that this needed to be told, that I needed to get the truth out. That is the only way I can describe it. Film critic Tim Gordon acknowledges the power that slavery evokes in antebellum and as a theme in the black horror film genre. I thought 12 Years a Slave, which I think is probably the platinum level of, uh, of, of this genre, which tells this story, kind of did an amazing job. But Gordon says black horror should focus more on the African-American experience in a modern setting. Because I don't really think you've got to go far <laughs> to find the horror in, in the culture. You just have to, to be very attentive and be able to articulate it to audiences. Whether it's just the little slice that there's a scene in Antebellum where they go to a restaurant and there's three of them and they try to seat them by the kitchen next to the dirty dishes. Antebellum filmmaker Christopher Renz tells VOA that while his film focuses on slavery, its modern setting gives it a compelling twist. He says Jordan Peele's 2017 horror blockbuster, Get Out, where black people are held captive for medical experiments by white supremacists in today's America, set the stage for Antebellum. I'm not sure if the reception would have been the same if, if Get Out had not happened and was not so successful. Tim Gordon says Hollywood's embrace of black horror has helped it expand into streaming series, such as the Emmy-winning Watchmen, a fictional superhero drama based on a graphic novel where in an alternate universe, a female vigilante cop takes on white supremacists. And Lovecraft Country, a new HBO TV series that blends superhero, sci-fi, and horror genres set in the Jim Crow era. Anything that Jordan Peele is producing and doing in Lovecraft Country, to me, are the epitomes of what this genre can be. And in both cases, they use just simple race in America and look at it and, and find the horrific elements to that. Even so, film critic James Berardinelli says the topic of slavery remains central to the black film genre. One of the most traumatic experiences uh, for uh, people of color in this country in the last 200 years is slavery and its aftermath. Ultimately, says Berardinelli, like the Holocaust, slavery provides an inexhaustible supply of stories to be told on film. Antebellum filmmaker Christopher Renz agrees. I think that everyone needs to constantly be reminded and that's the only way that we will never forget and make sure that it never happens again. So I think there's room for a bunch of different stories. We're ready to tell a bunch of different stories. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.